So I'm going to go ahead and make some additional modifications to the owl. The first thing that I want to do is maybe just pull up the eyes a little bit. So I'm going to select both, click on one, hold down the shift key and click on the other. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and press the up arrow key in the keyboard. And that's moving it up a little bit too much, but then I can nudge it back down using the down arrow key. That just makes it look a little bit better, I think. The other thing that I want to do is select the owl's head. So I'm going to select the circle and the ears that make up the owl's head. I'm going to choose a slightly darker color. I'm going to go with this brown. I think that looks a little bit better. There's higher contrast now between the eyes and the actual head of the owl. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to draw the beak. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the grid in the background. You can come up to the view menu and under the view menu you can choose hide grid. You can also turn off guides temporarily. Remember the keyboard shortcut is command semicolon. It would be control semicolon on Windows. And what we want to do, like I said, is draw the beak. And the beak is fairly straightforward. It's a teardrop shape and there's really an easy way to do that. And that, of course, is with the pen tool. So I'm going to come over and choose the pen tool. With the pen tool, you want to make sure that you have a black fill color. And the first thing that you want to do is just kind of click here and then come over here and click and drag down a little bit to create an arc. Then click again, which will be the point of the beak. Come up a little bit, click and drag kind of up and towards the right a little bit. I did that a little bit too much, so I'm going to undo that and click and drag up towards the right a little bit. Then you can come back to the beginning and click and drag over to the left to create kind of that teardrop shape. And so here, is the owl's beak. You can select it and move it into place. Now if it's a little bit too big, you can always scale it down if you want. I'll go ahead and do that, scale it down just a bit. The only other thing that I want to do is I think I want to pull these background circles a little bit closer together. So I'm going to go ahead and select one and press the right arrow key a couple times. I'll do the same thing with the one on the right hand side. Press the left arrow a couple times. I think that looks maybe just a little bit better. So they're almost touching. So there we go. We have the owl's head in place, complete with his beak. Maybe I'll move his beak down just a bit, but you can go ahead and kind of modify this to whatever looks best to you in terms of your eye. But we're ready to move forward and start working on the body of the owl.